Welcome to the On My Workbench channel. In this video I'll show how I built two nine elements Yagi TV antennas and co-phased them together. I built the two antennas using three quarter inch gray PVC conduit and one quarter inch copper tubing. I used an online Yagi calculator. The link will be in the description. I plugged in the frequency at 605 megahertz. Nine elements 6 millimeters for the diameter of the elements and 25 millimeters for the diameter of the boom. Is the boom isolated from parasitics? Yes it is. It's a plastic boom. Click show me the details and then it will give you a list of the location and the positions and the lengths of the elements. I copied and pasted the element data into a text file so I'd have the locations and dimensions of the elements when I was ready to start cutting them. I took a piece of three quarter inch gray conduit and cut it in half on my table saw. I did this to make a template so I could produce additional antennas having the same hole spacing and they would be nearly identical. I used a metric measuring tape to locate and mark all the locations for the element holes. This is the template that I used to drill the holes in the booms for the antennas. I placed the template over top of a piece of three quarter inch gray PVC conduit and used an automatic punch to transfer the holes to the PVC conduit. I used a piece of three quarter inch tongue and groove flooring with the groove up to hold the copper tubing while I was cutting it. I placed the copper tubing in the groove and cut it with an X-Acto saw. I used an old X-Acto saw to cut the tubing. I cut the tubing two millimeters longer so that I can tune it to the proper length using my belt sander. After I have the elements cut to the correct length, I bevel the ends to remove the sharp edge left by the belt sander. I use a piece of three quarter inch tongue and groove flooring material with the tongue cut off and the groove face up to hold the copper tubing. I use an automatic punch to punch the center where the screws that will hold the tubing into the boom will be located. I use the same piece of three quarter inch tongue and groove flooring to hold the copper tubing while I drill the anchor hole in the center. After cutting all the elements I then insert them through the quarter inch holes for their respective locations as shown in the element cut list. This is the lower antenna with a phasing harness and the ballum attached to the dipole. This is the upper antenna with a phasing harness attached to the upper dipole. This is a single antenna mounted on a temporary mount about 25 feet AGL. It worked pretty good but I was still getting pixelization on channel 5. So I decided to go to a taller mast. This is a single antenna mounted on a 40 foot mast approximately 40 feet AGL. I was getting a lot of dropouts from channel 5 out of Nashville on the single antenna, so I decided to add the second antenna above the first antenna and co-phase them together. The addition of the second antenna completely eliminated pixelization and dropouts from Nashville Channel 5. Nashville is over 88 miles from our house. I'm still experiencing pixelization and dropouts from Channel 2 out of Nashville, so I'm going to design build two new antennas of 17 elements each. These antennas will use square aluminum tubing for the boom and solid round rods for the elements. Please check back for part two of the DIY antenna project. Please check back with the On My Workbench channel for more videos on cool stuff. Please subscribe, like, comment, and click the little bell. And thanks from the On My Workbench channel.